Hey, happy Monday, Facebook friends. It's a beautiful day in Vermont. It was 50 degrees. So that made us very happy. Here comes Miss Hero again. Miss Hero, you're going to make the camera fall. I wanted to talk to you about the ketogenic diet because it's starting to become sort of the fad thing and everybody's talking about it and it's this wow, right? So everybody's like, what is this? This is another crazy thing. Is this just the latest weight loss fad? Is this, you know, what is this? So let me tell you my experience with a ketogenic diet because I think it's a little bit unusual. I began using a ketogenic meal plan in my gym five years ago. Why? Because I am a geek and I researched everything that I could because I wanted to help the people that came to my gym not just work out, but I wanted them to get the best results possible and many people have to lose weight. The problem with restricting calories and going on a diet, well, there's many. The main problem I wanted to address is that when you do that, you lose muscle. And losing muscle is counteractive to all of your weight loss goals. Because the more muscle you build, the more fat you're going to burn, the more calories you're going to burn, and the healthier you're going to be. We're not getting any younger and we need to build muscle so that we have strong bones and strong muscles so we have great lives so we can like pick shit up and be cool. Okay, so I wanted to figure out like, okay, how can people lose weight and not lose muscle? And I did my research and I found a doctor who was using the ketogenic food plan. She was an amazing doctor. She helped me a ton. She sent me to like a million trainings and I learned how to use this ketogenic meal plan. In the ketogenic meal plan that I used, people did restrict calories, but we had them use a meal replacement so that they were getting the nutrients they needed. But they were also eating a high fat diet, anywhere from 45 to 65% fat coming from olives, avocados, egg yolks, um, coconut oil, those kind of things. So what was my, what were the results? What was my experience using the ketogenic diet? Incredible. It was an amazing connection I had with this doctor because she would come every six weeks and she would, hey Tina, she would <clears throat> hook everybody up to this fancy machine and see where were they losing from. Were they losing from muscle? Were they losing from fat? 100% of people who followed the ketogenic meal plan lost from fat and not from muscle. In fact, many people built muscle. So it was incredible to see the body fat percentage go down and the weight go down and see people get fit. Like it was incredible. So for me, I always use a ketogenic meal plan. It wasn't it it wasn't a new thing for me. It was something that I knew worked because I had seen the numbers, I'd seen the science, I'd seen what happened with my clients, and I always ate that way. So <clears throat> let's fast forward a little bit to uh, a couple years ago when people were doing uh, things in the laboratory to create uh, ketones uh, in the laboratory so that you could actually take ketones and get yourself into that ketosis, that state of using ketones for energy, which makes it so that you don't lose from muscle. Um, I think it's completely and totally genius. So when they first started coming out with these ketones, they were the most disgusting things you could ever ingest. And it, like you, you would like throw up. They were so horrible. Like you couldn't, you couldn't digest. You couldn't taste. You couldn't do it. It was just awful. You had to be like, I don't know, the Incredible Hulk to keep them down. They were so awful. It's basically. A uh, chemical salt called beta hydroxybutyrate, and you know, it's it's fantastic because you can take the ketones, stay in ketosis, even if you, um, I don't know, have a glass of wine, or if you you know have a piece of bread, or if you have, um, I don't know, whatever. It just it's so much help more. It makes following the ketogenic diet so so much more. Doable. I think it's just amazing. So I started playing around with these ketones in the summer. They definitely help you focus. Um, they definitely, well, they make you sweat a little bit, but 
Uh, you definitely have to drink a little bit more water, but what I like about it is I don't have to be so, 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 so intense with tracking my, you know, my macros. I definitely stay between 45 and 65, um, you know, percent fat, and I get my cholesterol checked. So that's also important if you're using a lot of, you know, dairy or whatever. You don't have to. There are people who are vegetarians. Okay, so for example, vegetarians often rely heavily on grains. And when I work with vegetarians, I'm trying to get them into ketosis, trying to get them to follow a ketogenic meal plan. I'm telling you, it is excruciatingly hard. It's so hard getting them off the grains and off the carbs, like beans. Oh, it's like everything that they depend on knocks them out of ketosis. So the magic of doing the ketones is that a vegetarian can, you know, they're going to have to modify their diet quite a bit, but they can stay in ketosis and get the benefits of ketosis. So I, I'm loving it. I use all the different companies. I, you know, I jump around because I like all the different tastes and flavors. They're all the same. Um, I heard the Insta ketones are not that tasty, but I think, you know, you can experiment, go on Amazon, check them out. But I think, um, I'm just noticing how it's like all of a sudden all over the place. And I, I'm afraid people are, I don't know, I'm afraid people are going to think it's like a fad or something, but I've been using it forever and ever, five years. And it, it truly, truly is. And I, I got a lot of flack for it. So I'm pretty excited that people are starting to adopt it because I would tell people like, don't eat bananas. Don't eat like tons of fruit, like a little bit of fruit now and again. Don't eat potatoes. Don't eat root vegetables. And people look at me like I have three freaking heads. And, but the proof for me is in the pudding. So it's being the ketogenic pudding, which you can make with sour cream. Seeing so many people, dozens and dozens of my own clients who would follow the ketogenic meal plan without the ketones, so harder, right? You gotta be really careful. And gain muscle and burn from fat. Across the board, I didn't have one single person who did this meal plan with me that that did that. And the other, uh, other thing to kind of sum up, because I'm going on and on and on, is that <clears throat> after you've been in ketosis for a really long time, you know the problem with like going off and on diets? As long as you're keeping a very clean diet and you're, you know, you're, you're not eating junk, you're not eating sugar, you're not overloading on fruit, you're, you're, you're being, you know, good. <clears throat> Your body can go from glucose to ketones, it can go back and forth. It's not like you have to be like saintly forever. It's actually really good for your body. So that's my deal. I don't know. I'm a big believer. I've been a believer forever just because I see the results. For me, it, I, want, I want to know there's science behind it. I want to see the results. I want to know it makes sense. When you restrict calories, it, I just, it's so scary because you, you restrict calories. You do one of these other food programs that I won't mention. And you can get all your calories from cupcakes if you want. There's like this huge amount of, of carbs. There's no recognition of how your body actually works and what happens when you're just getting all your calories from carbs. You're just losing muscle. So that's my little spew about ketosis. It's freaking awesome. I'm in ketosis all the time, especially now that I take ketones. Super epic. I love it. Let's see what Katie says. What are the books, uh, the books references? Okay, so I, a lot of people who are talking about the ketogenic diet right now are like super geeks. And they're like, the way that they talk, you're like, I don't really follow you. So, sorry about that. Um, I really like, there's a guy named uh, Dom D'Agostino. I think I'd start with him. I think I would go to his website, and I actually don't know the name, but if you Google Dom D'Agostino, um, you'll find him and Katie, you will probably, if you go back to the meal plans that we used in our original weight loss groups that you were in with me, you'll see, you'll look at it and you'll be like, oh, this is ketogenic meal plan. And I'm like, yep, snuck it in there. You didn't even know it. <laughs> that was sneaky, huh? <sighs> no bananas in my food plan. <laughs> so yeah, start with uh, Dom D'Agostino and ask me any questions underneath. Um, 
awesome. I just had this like amazing benefit of working with this doctor who taught me so much about ketosis, ketogenic diet. <laughs> um, I just feel really grateful that I've had so many generous, amazing, smart people help me to learn about these things. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening. If you have any questions about ketosis or anything, ask me. My favorite ketones, I have to say, as far as flavor goes, the Keto OS. Um, but they're really expensive. But they're so yummy. <laughs> they're like so good. All the other ones are kind of like, you gotta force them down. But they're not like the original ones, which were in, unpalatable. Okay, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful night. And I'm looking forward to just getting more educated with everybody. See ya.